with a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 Go Light. In this video, we take on Mount Olympus in the final of the Saints Way Tournament. This is it. You can't save beyond this point because we are going for the final boss. Let's get in there. Mark Evans, and you, Ryman Eleven. You! It's been quite some time. I'm the man who's been training Mount Olympus, Dave Quagmire. It brings me great pleasure to be able to face you on the pitch once more. The Olympus Eleven are the ultimate team. They have been honed to perfection by myself and His Highness, Alex Zabel. Our victory will come effortlessly. <laughs> Quagmire, he's been training the Olympus team. This won't be easy. You have nothing to fear, not with the skills you've developed yourselves. Mr. Herman, Travis, I didn't expect to see you down here. Yes, we'll be joining you for this match. No way! We asked them to join us. Coach Travis has protected the Ryman Football Club for so long. And Mr. Hillman, of course, is the leading figure of this whole revolution. We wanted them to be here with us to see how it ends. Then it looks like all the greatest Ryman coaches are here by our side. This is amazing! I feel so psyched just seeing you all here. It's such an honour. Well, it's nearly time for the match. Everyone, make your final preparations. Yes, coach. <sighs> Captain, watch over me. Oh boy! That's the setup. We've got all the coaches beside us, and Dave Quagmire is going to be coaching Mount. Well, he was the trainer of Mount Olympus, which is actually something I find to be a pretty good decision, really, because he, in terms of morals, kind of would side with Fifth Sector. He was the guy who wanted to play for Inazuma National and didn't get chosen for the team, so he did everything in his power to try and steal that place. Fifth sector regulating football and giving everyone a fair chance. That kind of aligns with this guy who was a villain in the second game as an alien as well. Yeah, good fit. Now, I am level 42. This one doesn't tell you a recommended level. Shoulders, like, oh, yeah, to support each other. 
things seem tough, we help each other out. That's the Ryman way. Yeah! We don't need you to motivate us anyway. We're all rearing to go. Bosh! But... Oh. <laughs> Everyone listen up. This is a battle for the future of football. The outcome of this match will decide everything. I want you to go out there and enjoy the football you love. But remember, it's also a battle to decide who's number one in the country. So go out there and show everyone what you can do. Show them your heart and soul. You lost, coach. Well then, Ariel. As captain, you should see a few words to inspire us all before the match. No? Cut scene was just tremendous, man. Now, as I mentioned in the previous episode, Mount Olympus are level 40. I've decided to overshoot it a bit. Not a single one of these players is actually required to have on the pitch. I mean, you obviously cannot physically remove Arian from your team. It's not possible. But, yeah, you can even get a free choice of goalkeeper. 
it's all been building up to having JP as your permanent goalkeeper, and then actually you don't even have to. Well, I've chosen to do it anyway, just because canonically it feels like it makes sense, and he does have the fighting spirit, which Sam doesn't. And these guys are coached by Alex Zabel, which just does nothing but benefit them. There's not a single downside to having a coach like that. What a great guy to have back in you. Apart from the whole working with Fifth Sector and, you know, trying to destroy football and, and such. Well, control football. But we will go into the morals of Alex Zabel's actions and all of that as the match progresses, no doubt. For now, we of course have a mission objective, and this is the trickiest to cross the dotted line with the football in the game, because immediately the team captain Cronus is going to come out with his fighting spirit, Surtur. But I'm actually kind of in the clear, so as long as I can get past Ozone Flayer, which of course I cannot, that would get me over the line. I could have brought out Arian's own fighting spirit if I really wanted to, but let's just see if Lucian can take the ball. Of course he can't. Look at that, 88 points on the dribble. These guys are serious business, and it is no wonder why we're facing them at such a late stage of the tournament. Ball lightning is a brand new move, and it looks mighty nice, it has to be said, but... If Adekebe can take this, Arian is not offside, but I'm not able to move him up the pitch either. We're going to take the ball with Killer Whale and pass to him at just the right moment so that he doesn't go offside and ruin all of our plans. Cross that line. They're really strong. Mount Olympus really are on a whole different level to the teams we faced before. Don't worry, as long as we don't give up, we'll pull through. It'll be fine. Hmm. Axel, watching the way your team are playing, I can just feel your passion for football. This is the final battle against Fifth Sector. In the match against Mount Olympus, you must be in the lead by the friend of the first half. So that's true, we do need to get a goal here, but we're not forcibly put behind by any means. Mount Olympus do not get a guaranteed goal on us, but we have to get at least one. And if you can get two, then that is, of course, a big advantage. Use fighting spirits, use special tactics, use everything in your power, because the first half, well, it's it's a lot easier to get goals here than it is in the second half. We'll, we will say that at the very least. Let's go for a flying fish just to get the ball onto the other side. I, I was tempted to go for a special tactics thunderbolt just to absolutely ensure this. Oh dear, Roma. I, I kind of thought you were going to have a shot chain, but that's not, that's not the case. The ball's going to continue and now get blocked. Here is where I think I'm going to bring out a fighting spirit with one of these two. Who's going to get there sooner out of Arian and Victor? Well, that's their fighting spirit. I didn't press it in time. Is that the, the one in front of us? No, Victor's much closer, so we're going to take that with him. And actually, this is a prime opportunity to get a goal. All things considered, it's not too difficult to get the goal in the first half. Oh, my... I had to open my big mouth, didn't I? Right, Victor's not offside. We'll try that again, shall we? The defender's not even trying to challenge us. Lancelot lunge. The goalkeeper does not have a fighting spirit to use right now. So, if you have a fighting spirit open, then there's nothing stopping you from going in. Shot stopper. It looks quite nice, but it's, it's 45 power. It's not the most threatening move to say that we're in the final boss right now. In general, Mount Olympus, they're not putting up a great deal of threat at all, as it happens. They're coached by Alex Zabel, trained by Dave Quagmire. They won a match 16-0 to qualify for this stage of the tournament. I misclicked. I was aiming for the special tactics and not the fighting spirit button. But I guess we're going to run with that anyway. Ah, I've just crossed the line. Thunderbolt you can only use in the 
the back half of the pitch. Well, I guess we'll try Twin Wings. It is a higher TP. So, in theory, it should be better. I just don't actually think it is. Right, last chance. If I can get two goals in the lead, I'll be absolutely jolly. Come on, Victor. Make it a second Lancelot lunge. Make, make us 2-0 in the lead. And I don't even think there's much doubt, right? Shot stopper. What, what's that going to do, man? Oh, boys, we're in. 2-0 in the lead against Mount Olympus. That is how you want to start this match. Woo! Good standing, good stead. Let's see how this goes. That's the last time the ball goes near that goal. No challenge at all. That's it. Well done, Victor. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> couldn't, just, couldn't just leave it there. Find 404 power on that slide. The real battle begins here. Let's keep up the good work.
you'll be facing us in the second half. But that's just cheating. relating to Dragon Link. According to the records they found, all their players are spirit summoners. They all have fighting spirits? Hmm, <laughs> that's quite the terrifying lineup. But why would he suddenly swap the whole team out now? Aren't Shinquadea and Zabel meant to be partners? Alex Zabel was never trying to control football. He was trying to protect it. Huh? He became the Holy Emperor in order to investigate the corruption within the Youth Football Association and Cinque Dea himself. Sorry for not telling you this earlier. The Holy Emperor... No, Axel Blaze made me promise not to say a word. I found out the truth a while back. I know that man well enough to be able to work out what he's thinking. You knew? Thank you, Victor, for keeping your promise to him. Now then, team, it's almost time for the second half to begin. Start thinking about how you're going to defeat Dragon Link. Remember, it doesn't matter who you're up against. Your goal is still the same. Win the match. Bring revolution to the world of football. Never give up, and you can't fail. Yeah!